Welcome to a video on learning Twine. In this video I'm going to cover Passage Options as well as Passage Editor. Passage Options are available when placing the cursor over any one passage. They are the menu that pops up and allows you to change different things about that passage. From left to right the Passage Options are Delete the current passage Edit the current passage Test the story starting from that current passage as well as some additional options. You can start the story here or not, enable that, as well as four different varieties of changing the size of a passage in the story map view. The current and default is small, there's also wide, tall, and a combination of wide and tall large. These are different ways to organize the size of a passage within the story map view as well as the different passage options, deleting, editing, starting the story, as well as starting the story from there or not. All of these are different options for each passage. Double clicking on a passage opens up the passage editor. It is a way to change both the name, the tags, and the content of any one passage. Starting at the, stop, starting at the top is the ability to change the title of the passage. Right here, its current title is The Beginning. Moving from left to right is also the ability to make the window larger or back to the default, as well as closing the current editor of that passage. We can reopen it by double clicking on it. We can also add tags to any one passage. Be aware, however, that certain story formats have reserved certain keywords, and those relate to certain functionality in those story formats. Being aware of the keywords, for example, header and footer in Harlow, for example, means that you shouldn't use those tags in your story without knowing that they relate to certain functionality. Checking the documentation of this current story format you're using can help you understand these differences. However, and in general, tags are a way to organize passages within the story map and allow the author to organize things in different ways. Tags then could be related to events, times, places, characters, or different other organizational ways to relate passages one to another and to the larger story itself. Finally, there's the content of the passage. The content of this current passage, the beginning, is first, on this first line, a link to another passage, the end, as well as some additional code on the third and fourth lines. The third line has the use of a macro in Harlow called link. Its link is secret to the content I told you it was a secret. After that, on the next line is color showing that the syntax of this is incorrect. Now this use of color on the syntax to show different things, to show the link macro and to show that the macro underneath that written for the, for, written for the story format sugarcube is incorrect is in fact unique to only one story format, Harlow. Other story formats when using the passage editor don't have color syntax highlighting. I can demonstrate this by closing this passage, coming down to the menu, changing the story format from Harlow to Sugarcube 2.21, closing that and reopening it. Notice that now the color syntax highlighting is not here anymore. The same is also true, closing this passage, coming back to the menu, changing the format, to snowman. Closing this, reopening the passage, also doesn't have coloring, color syntax highlighting. Color syntax highlighting, coming back to the menu, changing the story format one more time, back to Harlow 2.1, closing this, reopening it, only exists in Harlow. It exists for both Harlow, the Harlow uh, 1 version and the Harlow 2 version. It also shows, as I highlighted, if you use the wrong syntax, the wrong code construction that is, if you've written something incorrectly in the story, in the current story format that matches others. That is, I wrote this line, the current use of the link that's highlighted for the SugarCube story format, but, the, but it's wrong in the Harlow story format and so it has shown me this. So if I take that out, the color syntax isn't there anymore for that to tell me it's incorrect. So this color syntax highlighting show you the different colors, helping you verify your code only exists for Harlow in the passage editor. 
Otherwise, the content, the same as I showed in Snowman and in Sugarcube, is just plain text with no colors to it. This has been a review of the Passage Editor. Starting at the top, we can change the title. We can change the size of the window back and forth. We can also add tags to this passage as well as any other individual passage by opening them up for editing, as well as look at the content inside that passage, change different things about it, and when using the Harlow story format, help let the colors guide us through our different syntax choices and help us verify we're using the correct code and we're opening and closing macros correctly. Finally, if we ever want to close out a passage from editing, we can click close and that will close it. This has been our video on the different passage options, making them bigger or smaller, deleting them, starting in different places, as well as a review of the passage editor and a note of the very special, although somewhat subtle, code syntax highlighting that only exists for the Harlow story format when using the passage editor in Twine 2. Thanks for watching.